since we are so uh, used to be hearing every year the same stuff, and this is not the same stuff, and to hear things that they don't work, well, this uh, new product has two characteristics. One is that it's completely different to what you know, and the other one is that it really works. So I'm really excited to be able to talk to you about this uh, and to be uh, co-presenting with my friend, uh, Dr. Padel. So I think you will all be uh, gratified when, you, uh, when we end the presentation because you will be amazed with the, these results. So uh, today I'm gonna present you the Chuck technology, uh, which is a unique uh, way of stabilizing the molecule of hyaluronic acid that has no chemical binding agents like the DDE that we are used in all feeders and all hyaluronic uh, acids that are present in the market. Um, and uh, the range of techniques that we are using for rejuvenating, lifting, and skin tightening on the face mainly, but not only, okay? I'm Dr. Torres, and I hope you will enjoy our presentation. So whenever we have a rock, and we want to give some form to the rock, we know that we have to put some, um, action to be sculpting that rock, okay? So we need some chisel, we need a hammer, and we are going to be putting some extra force in the rock to be able to produce something different like a sculpture, okay? And when we want a bucket that is, for example, full of water to be lifted, because we want to, let's say, use that water, drink it, or wash something, it's obvious that we need some action, some force to be able to pull this bucket away from the water well, for example, and we need a poly to get to lift this bucket, okay? But both of them, the rock and the bucket, are solid, inert substances, so they don't have any living inside, okay? They don't move if you don't move them, okay? But when we are talking about fat, and we are talking about the extracellular matrix, we are, we are talking about a, a soft living tissue. So if something is living, then we have several options, several opportunities of uh, some sort of alterating, enhancing, or inhibiting some processes within the cell, within the uh, extracellular matrix. So that is our target. That is where we appoint our treatments, and that's why we may think differently to obtain different results than we were used to. So the next question would be, is there any room for non-invasive corrections? If we are talking about things that work, because all of us know that if we cut skin and we remove skin because we're doing surgery, there's something that is more tangible. But when you're not doing surgery, do you, can you get some really exciting results? Is that the question? So the answer depends on the patient expectations, uh, the anesthetism severity, the technology that you have available, and of course the patient wishes. So generally speaking, uh, the less invasivity we have, the less uh, severity of the, of the of the anesthetism, you can be less invasive to get the result, okay? So the intervention in general should be proportional to the expected outcome and to the anesthetism severity. So generally when we were trained in the residency, uh, we were expecting to have results around 30% for non-invasive corrections and to obtain only more than 70% overcome or improvement with only surgical corrections. That is the past. It's not the, what we have nowadays. Because new technologies uh, allows us to get better results with less invasivity, okay? And that I would name the ACRG plasma body type. And in the injectables, we have mainly some booster, but we also have other technologies like peptides or enzymes that weren't able before that we can use them there right now. So we can redefine the facial contour with sub booster. This is something that you will see, and you can experiment in your own practice that is completely possible, and it's absolutely rewarding for the physician and the patient. So what is this uh, different technology? What is this cell booster? So it's a different technology. It's a new article, and it's a new concept. That's why we call them CHAC technology, okay? So what are the competitive advantages of this new CHAC technology? It's a different way of combining 
Yarnic acid with active principle. And it's uh, made in Switzerland by Swissel. But the most important thing is that it gives us long lasting results. We are used to many, many products of method therapy that you have to do millions of treatments to see nothing. Okay, we are just selling water because everything that you inject lasts only 24 hours. Maybe in the best case scenario, 72 hours. Well, this product, it will act for 21 days in a row. Every day your skin will be improving and improving. So how is that possible? Because uh, this, this technology is uh, capable of stretching the uric acid molecule just with physical action. And once you stretch this molecule, you get different slots within the uric acid. So these slots were capable of placing active ingredients and then you remove the tension, the molecule gets close again, and you get some sort of packing of the active principles and the uric acid that are protected from the environment. So they are more resistant and uh, they have no chemical uh, agents within the molecule. Okay? You get a slow release of the active ingredients and you have uh, this unique complex uh, ingredient combination that one plus one that not, that not makes two, it makes four, it makes five, because the results are so much better than anything else I have experienced in the past, and, and I'm sure you will be, you will agree with me on that. So, first thing, you have to stretch the uric acid molecule, and then you get some unfolding capacities and slots are that you can link this uh, active principles, vitamins, amino acids, and so forth, and then you get the 3D chuck complex formation, stabilization, and it makes a, a different sort of product because it's, it's more intelligent. It's just like being able to use the acid as a carrier and to release the active principles in a continuous manner so you can affect the skin every day and improve the skin every day for at least 21 days, at least, okay? So we have, our know, range is four products, lift, glow, hair and shape, we're going to assess them mostly all, but, mo but we will focus on shape and shape mainly, lift and shape. So the key ingredient in formulation is PCRG acid. Uh, we have been using it for ages. We know it's the main constituent of the dermis and the extracellular matrix, and that we lose uh, this capacity of, of forming the acid with, with aging. We know that aging reduces uh, the production of, of the uric acid, so the moisturing of the skin gets a little bit uh, compromised by that. And we also know that the uric acid has a extreme short life. That's why whenever we inject any mesotherapy formulation, we know that that in between, like applying a good cream or injecting something like mesotherapy, mm, there's not much difference, right? Uh, but uh, so because the uric acid is very sensitive to free radicals and it's very easily degraded. So uh, there are many external factors like dermal days, UV exposure, pollutants, and chemical stress will, will attempt against our living or against the longevity of the uric acid. That's why the complex stabilization is so important, okay? It's just a geniality that they came up with uh, this idea about putting the active principles in pressure to affect uh, the uric acid and to affect the active principles. So you get the most of both worlds. You get uh, uric acid that because of this reaction is stabilized and act actually continually like in a more stabilized uh, manner. And the active principles are released in a very uh, daily basis uh, way. Okay, so um, you have enhanced and long-lasting results, which is the, the main difference between this product and any other mesotherapy you may be using, okay? So we have four things. One thing is that Chuck technology protects the ingredient from the gyronidase. The other thing is that it will increase the bioavailability of the ingredient, and it's a unique stabilization of the gyronic acid because it has no BDDE, has no chemicals. We know that BDD is a plastic, and we know that injecting a lot of plastic is not good for anyone. So this is like scaping about this uh, common stabilization process that we are used. So we have optimal ingredient distribution, which makes uh, the compound uh, a lot more efficacious. 
So we will start with the Booster Shade. It is a product that is intended for local fat reduction, water re retention, and it will improve uh, mi microcirculation. So it's intended for some for local fat, double chin, uh, liquid retention, and uh, lymphatic, uh, lymphatic drainage. So indications are pretty much there. Fat uh, cheeks, we will show uh, something that we have been doing in the, the in the past month that is applying over the buco fat pad has we have had great results with that so as a surgeon i i am doubting myself as how how far we will get with this product and how some surgeries may stop to be necessary in the future okay so cell booster shape is a complex of dairy acid which is the main component but it also has l-carnitine and vitamin c Vitamin C is a fat burning agent. Uh, whenever you are rich in tissues in, in the vitamin C, you can uh, actually melt fat 30 times, 30 percent more uh, than when you are lacking that vitamin. So um, that will act enhancing your your sport uh, effect on the fat cells. And the other thing is that high concentrations of vitamin C they induce apoptotic uh, death in the adipocytes. So you have two mechanisms by which vitamin C can make you melt the fat, okay? And the other component is L-carnitine, which uh, it is known to uh, be favoring the melting of the fat when you have, even when you have sugars, that you can extract energy. So you will shift towards the extracting the energy from the fat uh, and not from the sugars. And the other thing is that the L-carnitine uh, favors uh, the um, inset or the entering of the long fatty acid uh, chain into the mitochondria, okay, with uh, acetic coenzyme A release. Okay, so you have some power from there, energy, and you will be melting more fat because of this compound as well. So the program um, promotes uh, one application every two to three weeks interval, and then one other application at time, uh, one, one month after the, the first retreatment, okay? Uh, it should be intended for face, neck, decote, back of the hands, but mostly I use it in the, in the chin area and the book of a pad, and I really like it. I know that some colleagues are, in, are injecting as well in the lower eyelid with very good results. So, some booster lift, it's another uh, composition, and it's, uh, it's intended for uh, reverse of the aging effects in the skin, so we will be feeling soft tissues preventing the oxidative stress and favoring deep hydration, okay? It will stimulate collagen production and improve microcirculation and cell nutrition. So it, what it makes is it will redensify the skin, it will lift and smooth the wrinkles, and it's improve the skin uh, tone in general, okay? So the main indications would be loss of firmness, loss on fascial tissue, the hydration of the skin, wrinkles, skin laxity. This is an excellent product, for, for example, when you have done feeders on patients, when you have done other treatments like botulinum toxin, and the patient calls up to and says, what would, do we do now? This is an excellent product for that, because it's something that is a little bit less expensive than a feeder, and it will give amazing results that are very tangible. So the composition of cell boost relief is the same, uh, agaric acid, 18 milligrams, and then you have a pool of vitamin and a pool of amino acid, in which we can name arginine, glycine, lysine, proline, and valine. And it really works. It really makes a change in the tissues because it auments the densification and microcirculation of the skin. Okay, so you will, you will, you will be able to see a photographic difference between before and after treatments. Uh, it's very tangible. It's something that really works because it will improve the, the skin tone and it would. Uh, place the results or you will be able to see the results after two, three weeks, you can tell the difference. So vitamin D2, C, E, and biotin, they will enhance uh, skin protection because it will uh, augment the skin defense and uh, it will protect the cells from oxidative stress and we will prevent uh, the action from free radicals and, and, then, and for that reason, it will improve the wrinkles as well. Same program, so it would be one application every two to three weeks and then another support course after one month, okay? 
So uh, there's a friend of mine which is present here, and uh, he asked me, how would you inject, how you, would you deliver cell booster? So if I had to say one word for each type, shape, I would inject it with a bolus, the hair, I would do papules, lift, I would do fanning with curved cannulas, and the glow, I would inject it in cluster because I would have to go after the pigmentation of dark spots. So that's why I, pre I prepare a small video showing the techniques for you. And this is, uh, for example, in the, in the chin area, we want to melt that fat, we inject it very deeply, we aspirate before injecting, and then we inject in a bolus, and we are sure that we are going to get the most of, of the fat compartment there. This is an application, the other one was a uh, cell booster shape. This is lift, we want to inject it with a curved cannula that is like spooning the skin, okay? Uh, it's very easy to stay, very safely here, very superficial, and uh, you can be very effective with this technique and uh, explore or expand the vectors of skin retraction with the product. And the glow, you will inject it with papules or cluster because you want to be um, like favoring uh, and the concentration of the product in the exact area where you have the hyperpigmentation. So this is the result that you can expect. Uh, with one session, two vials applied in the chin area, okay? And this is very similar to a neck liposuction. So my question is, how long are we still going to be making okay, neck liposuctions, okay? Because you can, it's not that all the patients respond like this. That's a very tangible result, and it's very good result. It's one session and two vials. Okay? We inject a lot of material, this is true, but believe me that injecting this material is so much easier than doing a neck liposuction. Okay? There's so many vascular structures that you can be damaging when you're injecting a, or when you're like performing neck liposuction. This is something so much safer and so, uh, so effective as surgery. So the patients are very happy with this. This is like 21 days down the road, so it's very fast. You have almost no downtime, okay? You have a complete change in the, uh, what we call, you know, cervical mental angle, okay? Which should be around 90 when you're treating, when you're speaking about the, the muscle, and when you're speaking about the, the skin, it could, it could be 100, more or less, it should be around 100, okay? So we had a better definition of the mandible. We have a better definition of the, of the cervical mental angle. So a little bit of anatomy, I would, I would talk about the Bishop Fat Pad or the Book of Fat Pad. We have been treating this with some booster shape as well. And uh, it is a, a um, tissue that is between the buccinator and the masseter muscle. So they, they sort of, of soften the mastication movement, okay? You have uh, some structures that are important to consider, like the facial artery, the facial vein, and in the internal part, next to the second molar, you have the stenon duct or the parotid duct that comes out with saliva, okay? When you are performing surgical removal of this gland, of this fat, you have to be very careful where to place the uh, incision, not to damage the stenon duct. Then we have been applying as well some boosters over uh, the vicious fat pad with very good results. So let's just check that one. You have to clean the area. You are working inside the mouth, which is always like uh, not clean, okay? Then you have you can apply a little bit of local anesthesia, and then you apply some uh, cell booster shape in bolus. Uh, you first you have to aspirate to be able to to be sure that you're not inside a vessel. And we are like two three millimeters three millimeters below the sternum duct or the, um, the 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 exit of the of the glandula, okay? So uh, that's application. We are applying with needles, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show you some results about this sort of treatment. First, we're gonna uh, show you a little bit of cell booster lid, okay? We applied this with curved cannulas that I have patented myself because it makes a lot more easy to be injecting your like, like, like a spoon, spooning the skin, staying very superficial, and be releasing the product in a very uh, comfort comfortable manner, very intuitive, okay? We inject in two areas, mainly uh, in the mandibular angle and uh, in, the, in the mandibular angle and the preauricular area. So we have two entry points and then we place the vectors and we 
try to favor as much as we can the retraction of the skin. So this is just one session, it's always two vials, and we have a lot of improvement. Uh, the, the face looks completely different, the oval looks different, and the patient looks happier. Yes, of course, it's smiling, but it, before, it's also, it, she looks happier, okay? So it's a lot of, of benefits just from one session. You've been able to tell between 15 and 21 days, you get your results. And if we are applying for a booster globe, okay, it was in South America, it's summertime, it's the worst time of the year for, for you know, pigmentation, and nevertheless, she looks better, okay? And she has done only two sessions. So this glow product, it works a little bit slower than the other ones, but it still works a lot. It has a lot of benefits over the pigmentation because it will, I would like stop uh, the production of melatonin. Melanin. So this is one patient I want to show that we did uh, all the treatments in her. All in one, four vials, two shape, one lift, and one glow. So you can see that we have the application in the book of fat pad. Uh, in her, we are going to see the results. And you see, you know, the, the cheek, the mid portion of the cheek gets sunken because of the effect in the bishop fat pad. Uh, you see that the uh, definition of the mandible is much better. And uh, you see that the pigmentation of that spot got better as well. So everything just with one treatment, uh, four vials, and, and uh, we're going to see the result. So you get a, a lot of difference. Uh, the face looks completely different with just one treatment. Okay? Uh, we, you get effects in the definition of the mandible. You get effects in the mid portion uh, of the cheek um, because of the atrophy of the uh, bishop fat pad. And it's something that is non-surgical, has no downtime, and the patients they don't feel not pain like, like injecting phosphate or conine or uh, also the oxycholic acid. There's nothing like toxicity here, okay? There are ingredients that you know we have, uh, we have uh, presented to you, so be very safe, uh, feel very safe when you're injecting them, okay? So this uh, is to stimulate you to think different, okay? To give a chance to this non-invasive product, okay? Your patients will be very happy with this. I have, I have uh, tell you this in the past that I'm a surgeon. I like doing a lot of surgery. I start using this product as a bonus for my patients that gave me a positive comment in the social media, okay, I gave it like a, a gift, and sometimes they were more happy with this product than with my surgery, okay? And that is just to explain to you that these products really work, okay, these products are really different, so give it a try, and uh, you won't be disappointed at all. I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping that you will give a, a try to this product, but start thinking differently, okay? Don't think like a rock in a bucket, uh, think like soft living tissues, that you can uh, uh, stimulate and interact with them. You can interact with the cells. So start thinking a little bit different and start thinking cell booster. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you like the speech. So good afternoon. Uh, Sebastian already told you the most important you know about uh, this product. And I can add that uh, it changed totally my practice. Uh, when the laboratory came to me the first time, he said, oh, we have a new product. I said, one more. And finally, I said, I try. And at once, I saw an evident result. So I continue to work, and now I have a one-year experience with this product. And uh, I choose a few protocols, and I can tell you that uh, it's a revolution in the practice. We are both surgeons, but finally we inject more and more, and we use this product as a very good device. And it's why I wanted to show it to, to work today. Okay, so you have the four... Uh, first, we have to remember that this CHAC technique is absolutely patented for this laboratory. And it changed, you know, the, the, the result and the efficacy of uh, all our injection. So I pass very quickly for that because uh, Sebastian told you already. It's very important, you know, to remember that we have to find all the time a good innovation for product and treatment. And this way is very satisfying. Why? Because we are protected, you know, all of the uh, aggression of uh, yellow needles and so on. And we have to, to, to get, you know, very good results. 
So what I want to do today is to show you more techniques uh, with these files, how we can use them, because like that you can apply and you can see, you can choose a treatment. You can choose one treatment, make a session, for example, with shape, another session with lift, or session for glow, or hair in some way. But sometimes you can also combine the technique. It's what I like to do. So the protocol for that, you have uh, the glow, you know, will be more uh, in, interesting uh, for the skin preparation, the good quality and good hydration of the skin. So you clean your skin, of course, as uh, all the, our topics. And uh, you can use topical anesthesia. We are surgeons, so we are a little more rude, but it's not painful at all. And it's very well supported uh, to treat as well. For the glow, you can use papula or bolus as well. Injection angle about 30 degrees. And uh, you have, uh, you can use, um, the best is needle. For, uh, I guess, for a glow uh, by itself. Uh, volume injected, you can use in one session, one or two vials. If you combine with the other product, it's better to do only one, it's enough. But you can use uh, one or two, uh, two vials of 3 cc each for each uh, session. Deep papula for uh, this glow, and you can be located on uh, all the full face, neck, cleavage as well, back hands, you can use it everywhere with no risk, and you have at once, you know, a very glowing effect, a good hydration, and you also have a good reflex and a good re answer on uh, all the problem of uh, pigmentations. Micropapula as well, you can choose a localization, especially, you know, all around, you know, the very oral area. And uh, you can finish when you combine with the other technique. I like to make a small nappage to finally finalize, you know, uh, my uh, result of my uh, session. Okay? For the lift, injections, you know, uh, the protocol, it's the uh, same way you prepare the skin as well, topical anesthesia. And in such case, you make also papula. You can also use uh, with the fanning technique. But injection 30 degrees as well. Injection deep interval, that is very every two, two millimeters, and it's good, very good enough. And you can use a 30 or 32 gauges uh, needle, and it works very well. Uh, Sometimes when I use fanning, I take a, so a cannula. Uh, 25 gauges and 50 millimeter for the fanning. This was a, um, was a little in advance. So you can make, especially fanning technique, I will show you on the next patient, all the full face. Neck, you can make it all with the cannula or needle. For the neck and cleavage, I prefer needle. For the micropapula as well, I will show you with the patient, it will be much easier for you to see. Okay, for the shape, uh, as we told that uh, we are a maxillofacial and uh, we were making a lot of surgery of bisha fat. Now we inject almost 90% of our sessions. And it changes quite a lot. It's more comfortable for the patient, less traumatic, very good results, very quick results. No uh, downtown, you know, problems uh, after surgery we can have, uh, especially infection in, uh, in the mouth. So. It's uh, interesting. Uh, Sometimes I make just a local anesthesia, same way than you, and we inject a one or two eyes, same way. And we, it's funny because uh, also when we did not know each other, uh, in fact, we realized that we use the product in the same way and we were surprised in the same way. And when I say it's an evolution, it's because it totally changed our way and our, our approach with the patient because we make them more confident we make them more comfortable, and it doesn't take any problems. Fanning technique also can be done, but I prefer a with needle, perpendicular, and a little deep. Papula is the best way. For air, you know, you can inject every two millimeter, two millimeter deep, every two line, uh, every two centimeters. I'm talking about the rule of two centimeters, because it's very easy, two millimeter distance, two millimeter deep, two centimeters interval. My protocol, my favorite, in fact, I use first shape with a local fat deposit in a different place as well. And after that, you know, I work with lift and then with glow. 
the first time I said maybe I'm too much invasive and why not? And finalement, I finally I, I tried and I was quite happy. And the most surprising also, there's 30 years I'm injecting on this market, and it's the first time that my patient called me after. Usually they said, okay, we are happy, it's good, and so on. But here they said, we feel different, we feel comfortable, we feel uh, very satisfied. And that for us, you know, it's, it opened our mind because we said, if people realize we are doctors, so we understand what we're talking about. But this patient feel a sensation they never had whenever they had other treatment. And that is very interesting. This case of one of our colleagues, she's 52 years old, so you can see before the aspect of her skin, and she was quite dry and so on. I made one first session, and uh, with uh, one vial of um, shape, two vials of lift, and one vial of glow. And it was already good, she was quite satisfied. As we had uh, normally, I should have waited, waited for a three weeks interval, but as we had in Monaco, uh, I, I waited only two weeks, but you can see the result. And it's really interesting because right after that, she's a doctor too, and she explained that whenever I made a lot of injection with fillers, she was not so such satisfied than with the cell booster. Which means people now are younger and younger. So uh, as we are young, if you don't overcharge with a lot of fillers, and you can be uh, very successful in a good way, we must do it. And it's a new approach, and it's why I like that. You can see on face, you can see on profile, same way, and especially, you know, all the small wrinkles over here disappear very quickly, and that is very interesting. So you can see one month interval, both for two sessions, only two. I will make a third one uh, very soon. Uh, here, uh, she was a little tired, uh, and I can say at the second session, it was a little more sensitive. And I remember when I wanted to make a video on a uh, décolleté, it was the last, <laughs> the end of the session, she was really tired, and she said, stop it. Anyway, we could do it. You see in profiles as well. And she was feeling all the time, uh, she was very uncomfortable with her chin. And the double chin, you know, is a very big complex for a lot of ladies, and we are more and more satisfied. It's why I like very much. I use uh, some time uh, for this time, uh, she had uh, here, so uh, in each session, uh, one vial of shape, uh, only over here. I will show you with the video after that, but I wanted to see, you know, to show you the result, and especially on the crossfit as well, Double chin over here, and all the cheeks, and all the middle uh, level. Okay, I use bolus of uh, injection at 90 degrees, you know, for all the triangular of the fat deposits over here. And I use the injector, it's about four to six millimeter deep, and uh, it's uh, subcutaneous fat, okay? The volume injecting uh, each point is between 0 0.05 to 0 0.1. And uh, it's a little burning at the first session, but after that it was very comfortable. And uh, she said at once, oh, my neck is more comfortable. Okay. When we complete, after that, I choose, you know, the lift fanning technique. And in the same way, it's very interesting because at once, we were completing why we first work on the fat deposit. After that, we work on a stretching effect and lifting effect of all the face. And I made, you know, a fun technique on the cheeks, on the, the chin, sorry, and all along the mandibula as well. I made also, not in the triangular of the shape injection, but all around, you know, all the neck with vertical points, you take some line, you make small bolus of 0.05 E, and all the decolleté the, 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 the in a triangle this way. So for that, you need two line. If you want to make a real uh, big uh, treatment. And then you finish with the glow, and in such case, small point everywhere, you inject slowly, 
small point, very gently, and you can see that uh, it's more uh, comfortable for the patient. Uh, it's more uh, comfortable for the patient. You can see in the video. I like very much to use, you know, cannula. Well, so, small points. Don't forget to take as much as you can syringe with a screw, because sometimes you have a small resistance, especially at the first session, when it's a fat, you know, very deep and dense, and sometimes you can lose product. So, uh, be careful for that. Okay, few points. I did not put any local anesthesia. That was the it's the second session. And sometimes it was a little sensitive for her, but uh, she could support uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Small point. Normally it's not bleeding too much. Uh, you have no eviction, you can make it, and the patient can work uh, just after that, and it's very comfortable. Sometimes you can put ice just at the end of the session as well. The video takes six minutes about that. Uh, we can show you as well. But every time, as much as you can, start with shape. Start with a fat deposit, and after, you will go forward for the rest of the skin. So you see that uh, you have not uh, too much uh, resistance. Very comfortable for the patient. Uh. Sometimes, on, on her, I did not did it. But sometimes, a few patients, I told also tomorrow for that, I like to make a mesobotox to patients. I see them 10 uh, days after that. And after, I treat, you know, with the quality and uh, with uh, the same booster. This cell booster, you know, it's it's new, it's new. It's uh, we we realize, <laughs> especially you know how we can be efficient and how we can uh, finish, you know, uh, the, the comfort of the patient. We change totally the, this area, and I use uh, less filler. We make less surgery. Uh, I have no word, you know, because I'm totally convinced and. Uh, and you know, the first uh, compliment we can have is the reaction of the patient and the satisfaction that he can have. Okay, I think after it will go a little more to see with cannula as we are injecting, like Sebastian, you know, on the cheeks. See. The second session, you know, I realized at once uh, the feeling of the skin was different. The first time you sing, if you touch a egg, you know, it's very dense and so on. And the second time, my needle was entering, you know, much more uh, easier after the uh, cannula. And I make all the oval, all along the oval. We can go also after marionette folds over here. Normally, it's not bleeding at all. Here, we have the camera, we have the light, and so on. It's why you, you can have a small bleeding, but that's it. Okay? You can see that she, <laughs> she started to be tired because it takes time to make the video, uh, to make her comfortable, a lot of product. Sorry? Yeah, it's lift. Shape first. Lift after that. And with the lift, especially, is why I wanted to show you this, can, this uh, video, because with the cannula, you can go up all the cross feet over here. A couple of times ago, we were using a filler. But using a filler on this area, sometimes you can have a, a pumping effect. With the cell booster, you don't have anything. You can make a small massage over it, and it's really fantastic, you know. The result is instant. Okay. Thank you. For that, also, you can go with one hole on a, under the zygomatic over here. You can go through, you know, the filtrum over here to work on all the code bar over on the upper lip. And it's also a very efficient. Okay. 
and I use the, the two bytes. Okay, and maybe we have uh, some points with the glow after that, I think so. But don't inject on the same area shape and lift. Shape is especially the fat deposit, and lift will be all around the face, but the lift and glow, you can mix them without problem. It's why I said needle for um, shape, cannula in preference with lift, and uh, point by point uh, over it with glow. It's my favorite technique, but we tried a couple with the time, you know, we, we wanted to, to, to explain how we can be, uh, you know, satisfied uh, with our technique and result. And uh, the first session, it took me about uh, half an hour to one hour to make all the procedure. Now, uh, it takes me half an hour. To, here, of course, we take time and so on to, to prepare the skin and everything, but it's very quick and very comfortable and uh, we are very uh, quiet for that. After that, the massage is evident. First, because you relax the patient, she forgot you were a little rude, mm -hmm. and you appreciate uh, as well. I have a fantastic result. I can show it. I was surprised by myself because he's smoking, and uh, here he has three sessions. On the last picture here, he has COVID, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I, I thought he could be very tired and so on. So, and finally, finally, the result of the picture was quite surprised. And uh, I wanted to show you it, because uh, and I make one vial of shape and two vials of lift. Nothing else. No I Botox? Made, no, no, no. no Botox, not at all. And I made uh, two uh, on each side, one cc of uh, forte and the angle because he wanted to have a Texas face and a square face. But this one, it was uh, quite uh, one of my best results, so it's why I wanted to show you. And uh, you can see that with not a lot, a big amount of product, uh, we are very efficient. It's not too much expensive also for the patient. We, we have to think and to, to, to complete our treatment as well. It's why it's, you know, when I say this product is a revolution, I, I agree and I think you think the same. It's uh, a couple of years ago, you, we could have used, you know, threads or something like that. I forgot all these techniques now. I'm very happy and you have no risk. You can combine fillers and we are exactly cell booster. It's between meso, between fillers. And I think it's uh, the future for us. And uh, when you have also a few doctors who are beginners, they are afraid they cannot rush uh, in an instantly, you know, with cannula or something else. And I think it could be good uh, to. But I trust this, uh, I'm totally confident with this product. And uh, if we are here, it's a reason. We are very enthusiastic with that. And uh, I think next time we shall show you more and more. Uh, because we try uh, techniques and everything, and uh, to see, uh, to show you uh, how it can work and uh, how, it could, how it could be efficient. Whenever I did not use a filler, we could be already very satisfied. Okay, thank you very much.